Yo, what's going on, guys? I just thought this would be a good video to talk right here. The NBA trade deadline is a little under two months away. Yeah, crazy. Almost halfway through this NBA season. As of December 15th, players who signed contracts in the offseason are now eligible to be traded. So, shout out Bobby Marx for this information. This is an ESPN Plus article. So, fuck them. I'm going to show it to you guys. Obviously, we'll skip through it. But let's talk about it and let's go through it. So, for me, I think it is cool that we're seeing, like, look, it is... Hey, look at this. Back in December 15th, there was a Rockets, Nets, Lakers trade that sent Joe Harris, who had signed with the Nets, to the Los Angeles. And let's let's look at it. Teams like Boston, Denver, Clippers, the Thunder, the Jazz have large trade exceptions and acquire a player without sending salary back. The Pacers and the Spurs have salary cap room. So... There are 74 players who signed new contracts this offseason and are now eligible to be traded, though some of them can veto trades because of the one-year bird restriction, like DeAndre Aiden. So, here we go. And right now, those people are for Atlanta. It's Aaron Holiday, Frank Kaminsky, Daniello Gallinari. So, Gallinari's out for the season, and they're, I doubt they would never trade him. Anybody's like, oh, they'll trade him injured. now. like, it would be such a bad look because he's been wanting to play for the Celtics his whole career. So, I don't think Boston makes a move. I think they're really content with their roster. I could see Patty Mills on the move. He just hasn't been a factor. But as of late, he's been playing well. But I could see him being used for someone. As we look through here, Chicago. I don't think anyone moves there. I don't think anyone moves for Cleveland either. And Ricky Rubio, Robin Lopez. I can't wait for him to come back. Could JaVale, be, JaVale McGee be moved? I know they're trying to get themselves Nerlens Noel. I would call up... Detroit and be like, look, look, we fucked up. We'll send you JaVale McGee. And I think you can get it done with either Frank Nelikina or or somebody else off the bench that you don't really use. And just be like, just take this and, and like we'll send you a bunch of second round picks and just send us Nerlens Noel. Please. I don't see Denver making any moves. Same thing with Detroit and any of the guys they signed. But over here, I think it starts to get interesting when you look at a team like the Los Angeles Lakers. Thomas Bryant has played well, but I think Damian Jones could be packaged. Maybe Juan Siano. I doubt it, but it's good to know that Serge can be traded now. I think Serge and George Hill could be packaged with Grayson Allen if they wanted to make a big deal. They get stuff down. I want to hear if you guys have any deals that you're looking forward to seeing. Minnesota should be always looking for a deal. If we move Kyle Anderson, I'm not, I don't even like Kyle Anderson. My T wolves are so bad. It's like not even funny. And Jalen Brunson's now trade eligible. I doubt anything happens there. PJ Tucker's, they're not doing any moves there. But in, do you think this is where we could see maybe a team like Sacramento make a deal? Or like KZ Okapala, maybe anyone would take that. I see Gorgie Dang potentially being included in some deals. Maybe Toronto uses Wancho or Justin Chapenny. Simone, if there's any teams out there in Utah and wants to include him in any deals, would be interesting. Sucks that DeLon Wright's been injured, but there's also not every trade restricted player became eligible to be traded Thursday. Here are players who still have kind of some restrictions on them. You can't trade Trey Young. You can't trade DeAndre Hunter. You can't trade Jason Tatum. You can't trade Ben Ben Simmons or Blake Griffin. Claxton. Cody Martin. Dennis Smith Jr. Um, these are guys that they signed later, so their their dates are a little bit later. And then these guys have those like first round like draft contracts. Zach Levine. He can't be traded until January. Darius Garland, Dean Wayne, Luka Doncic, Mason Kleba, Kemba Walker, Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Black Coach Anchar, Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, Jordan Poole, Andrew Andre, Andre Iguodala, Jay Sean Tate, Kemba. I'm not even reading the rest of these, so let's continue. All right, so here's explaining it. If you want to pause, I'm not going to read all this. Then there's some team, Poison Pills, those are funny. Poison Pills are funny, like... Jordan Poole would count 3.9 million outgoing salary for Golden State. 
So it makes teams not want to trade for them.